Hey y'all, um, I just did a video like not too long ago before I had lunch. I just finished. Um, I said that I would uh, let you all know what I thought um, about the crackers I was going to try with my lunch. Um, if you're, I'm sure you're familiar with what I'm talking about. These are it. They're the good things, sweet oat and uh, flax. Um, I tried them. They go really good with uh, the soup I ate, which was chicken noodle soup. These are really freaking good with that. Um, I personally like them. And, um, well, just to do a little bit more clear review on this, too. Um, I'm not really sure, like, who this would fit in for a dietary category. Um, I guess it'd be for anybody that's, like, watching what they eat. Um, and likes, like, uh, stuff that, like, doesn't have any, like, uh, bad things in it, per se, I guess. Um, I know on the box, this says, uh, there's no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no cholesterol, um, no, um, hydrated oils, and no, uh, corn syrup are in these. Ah, I'm about ready to lose my phone, that ain't good. Um, that's just what the front of the box says. And it says it's made with real oats. Um, the back of the box says, get ready. Oat and flax have come together and now bake so crispy, delicious, you can taste it. And that really does sound good, but let's look at the nutrition here. I'll go ahead and flip, well, I can't really flip this around so you can see it, but I can read it to you. Um, a serving size is 21 pieces, so for an average serving, there's 140 calories, 45, um, calories is from fat, total fat is 5 grams, which is 8% of your daily allowance, uh, there's 0 0.5 grams of saturated fat, which is 3% of your daily allowance, there is no trans fat, zero of that, um, Polyunsaturated fat is 2.5 grams. Monosaturated fat is 1 gram. Cholesterol is at a zero, which is, I think, good. Um, the sodium is really not that bad. Like, if you can't have a whole lot of sodium in your diet, these crackers would really not be a bad thing for you to eat. Because uh, the sodium in them is only 170 mil. 170 milligrams, which is only 7% of your daily allowance. That's really not that bad. Um, potassium uh, is 60 milligram or 60 mg, 2% of your daily allowance. Um, total carbohydrate is 21 grams, which is 7% of your daily daily allowance, which is really not bad if you're watching carbs too. That's pretty low. Um, dietary fiber. 2 grams, which is 8%. Uh, 3 grams of sugar. Not too much sugar. So, if you're watching that, that's not bad. Uh, there is protein in them. Like, very little, but there is. There's 2 grams. Um, there is no vitamin A. No vitamin C. 4% uh, calcium. And 6% iron. So, I don't know. Well... Personally, I think they're they're pretty good, but at the bottom on the side where the nutrition facts is, it says um, 12 grams of whole grain per 30 gram serving. Uh, nutrition uh, nutritionalists recommend eating 48 grams or more of whole grains throughout the day. We sh we all know that, but I guess they just want to let you know how much whole grain is actually in these crackers, which I really could care less. I didn't really get them for the whole grain factor. I got them because of the flax seed that are in them. Oh, and just to give you a little preview in case you've never seen them, I'm going to open the box and show you what one of the crackers looks like. I've already, you know, ate them, so I'm not going to eat it, but I'll show you. Um, I don't know if you can see that real close, but uh, yeah, you can. You can see the seeds, I think that is, that's in them. Um, they don't really look that bad. They look 
you know, like a normal cracker. So they look okay. They don't look like something I, you know, wouldn't eat or anything. So that's what they look like out of the box. Um, they're really, they're really good though. Um, I'm not really sure what to pair with them though, to be honest. Like, I know soup goes with any type of cracker, honestly. Um, but if you guys have some suggestions on what I could actually, like, put with these, like, what kind of cheese would go good with these? Honestly, guys, like, do you have any ideas for that? Like, or any other type of snacks that would, or things that would go good with these? Um, let me know because I think this is something I'm actually going to keep in my house from this point on. I'm actually going to start buying them after this box is gone. So, you know, I think the food bank for having these, I was able to try them without paying for them. And I like them. So, they're going to be something that I will buy in the future. Anyway... This is long enough video. I apologize if I rambled too much, but I'm pretty new at doing these, like, reviews and whatnot, so. Uh, please, you know, thumbs up me, comment, you know, do whatever. Um, and if you comment something nasty, I don't care. Your opinion really doesn't matter if you want to be nasty, so. Um, anyway, I'm gone, uh. Peace out, God bless, and have a good one, guys. Until next time.